Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. Have you ever wondered how to add more cash flow, more profit, and at the end of the day, more money to your business with CPA marketing? If so, stick with me through this entire video, as in today's video, I'm gonna share with you CPA marketing tips for beginners to add more cash flow. Hey, my name is Mish Wilson, and in the last few years, I've done over $10 million in sales online. And in that process, I've used CPA marketing to create multiple streams of income, once again, add more cash flow, and just essentially serve as a side gig for my primary business. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to find the best offers, where to find the best networks, and how to select the best offers so you can make more money fastest. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, here we are. So the first thing I wanna cover before we go ahead and cut to my screen here is the difference between CPA marketing and regular affiliate marketing and when you should use one or the other. So CPA stands for cost per action. And essentially what that means is that you're gonna get paid every single time someone takes a specific action. So it could be set to you know, a lead being converted and you might be getting paid two or three dollars every single time you send someone on a lead. It might be a purchase and you might get paid every single time someone buys something from a link that you go ahead and send to, an affiliate link, and it's a set cost, a set amount that you get paid when someone goes ahead and purchases. Now, that's not shocking, that's kind of how regular affiliate marketing works to begin with, but the difference between CPA marketing and regular affiliate marketing is really twofold. So there are pros and cons of both, to be completely and totally transparent, that's kind of what I wanna go over right now. So the pros of CPA marketing is that if someone refunds, the commission doesn't get clawed back from you, right? Oftentimes you can earn up to 200% of the actual sale. So you might sell a $47 product and earn $100 for that $47 product or $80 well over the $47 price that you went ahead and sold it for and you never have to deal with refunds. On top of that, usually payout is even quicker, all right? So with CPA marketing, because there are no refunds, or at least you don't feel the refunds as the affiliate, you'll get paid on usually a weekly basis, meaning that you can add more cash flow because you don't have to wait for the 30-day refund period to go ahead and be up that the product owner has, the product creator usually has, in order to go ahead and get paid your commission. So those are some of the pros, once again, high payouts compared to the actual price of the product that you're selling, added cash flow with increased payouts, and no refunds if someone goes ahead and refunds a product, it doesn't go ahead and get clawed back out of your affiliate commissions, all right? Now the con, very simply, is just that you don't usually get a cut of the back end. So as an example, if you sell a $47 product with traditional affiliate marketing, you might get 40% of that $47, but then if someone buys a $2,000 or a $10,000 or a $30,000 course on the back end or mastermind or mentorship program, you might go ahead and get you know, 30 or 40% of that $30,000, which can equate to a nice big you know, $10,000 commission or up with more of a high ticket affiliate marketing setup where with CPA marketing, you're essentially forfeiting the ability to earn that back-end commission based on the fact that you're gonna get all the pros that we discussed just a moment ago. So that's kind of the difference between the two. Obviously with regular affiliate marketing, if someone refunds too, the commission gets clawed back. And usually because there's a 30-day refund period with most products out there, it's one of those things where as the affiliate, you make the sale, you have to wait, for the 30 days to pass and then you go ahead and get paid the commission. So a little bit slower payouts with traditional, but again, kind of higher upside as well. So with that said, now that you kind of know the pros and the cons, what I would say is use CPA marketing to add additional cash flow. Use CPA marketing to essentially, you know, diversify your income, add additional income streams, and add income streams that allow you to add more financial agility to your business, meaning that you make a sale and you get paid more quickly, so you can then reinvest more money into more advertising, to drive more traffic, to make more sales, 
to make morning more quickly once again and to rinse and repeat the process. So now that we know what CPA marketing is, what the differences are between regular affiliate marketing and then of course CPA marketing, let's go ahead and cut to my computer screen and I wanna go ahead and share with you a couple spots so you can find good CPA networks and then secondly, how to actually choose CPA offers that do really well for you and your business. And when you stick around till the very end, I'm gonna give you a product 100% free that'll show you how to get tons of traffic to your CPA offers. Let's go ahead and cut to my computer screen right now. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do in order to go ahead and leverage CPA marketing is find a CPA network. Now, very simply, a CPA network is just a network that you can sign up for that has a bunch of different CPA offers. So let's say if you get started with a network and you have 50 different offers to select from, you can then send traffic to those 50 different offers. You don't need to sign up for any of the offers. You don't need to buy the products. You don't need to invest in the programs in order to go ahead and promote them. The minute you find a good CPA network, you can have unlimited amount of products pretty much to go ahead and promote, especially if you find a few different networks and very quickly have multiple new offers to promote that convert very well. So the first thing I've done is just come over to the good old fashioned Googlies and type in best CPA affiliate networks. And as you can see, all of these suggestions popped up. Now I am unfamiliar with some of these. I'm familiar with some of them. And also I want to give you a few of mine that we use very regularly. Max Bounty, Perform, Global, Wide, Click Dealer, Peerfly, CPA Lead, Memo Link. As you can see, these are all options that would absolutely be worth checking out, getting signed up for, looking at the offers, and uh, checking out if the offers will work for you in your business, depending on what niche you're in. All right, so just go over to Google, type in best CPA affiliate networks, and a list will pop up. Then there's also additional articles that you can go ahead and check out that give you, you know, the 20 best CPA affiliate marketing networks, top nine CPA affiliate networks in the world, 10 best CPA affiliate programs. And if you just go through each of these actual articles, check them out, sign up for all the various networks. What I recommend doing is signing up for 15 or 20 networks, checking out all the various offers and all the various networks and kind of seeing which networks have the best offers for your actual market so that you can have the best message to market match when you go ahead and promote. Now I wanna go ahead and show you just a couple that I've used in the past. So we actually have used Max Bounty in the past for our own personal marketing efforts. We've used Click Booth, which is now Perform. We've used a network called Cash Network, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And we've used a network called Nexus Offers, which uh, once again, both of these last two, we've actually used more than the other previous because once again, they're more specific to our market. So this is an example of a few different networks that are not in this list of you know best CPA networks according to Google, but we did a little bit you know additional research. We found these additional networks and they ended up doing really well for us in our business. So I highly recommend you do the same. So with that said, now that we know what CPA marketing is, what the difference is, and where to go ahead and find networks, I want to go ahead and actually bring you into our dashboard. Here's our cash network dashboard. And we've sent 131 clicks today, so nothing significant at all. When you really ramp this up, we can bring literally thousands of clicks per day. And if you were to multiply that by 10, well, we can have commission days just kind of like that. But with that said, today we're just kind of sending some traffic, I believe, from from some PS lines and some emails. But with that said, I wanna go ahead and show you how to find offers and which offers I kind of look for in order to go ahead and create maximum ROI when I go ahead and promote. So with pretty much every single CPA network, when you log in, you'll have this little dashboard up in the left and it'll say offers. And I wanna go ahead and click that. And then from there, usually there will be a bunch of different markets. So as you can see, we have auto insurance, we have uh, car loans, we have easy money secrets, we have something called live the life, which is probably, you know, yeah, so it's business opportunity. We have quite a few different markets that we can go ahead and tap into. Consumer services, credit score, dating, diet, and so on and so forth, right? So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and narrow down the actual market 
to the market that you're going ahead and promoting. So if I go to show filter here, we can go categories and let's choose just for the sake of this example, BizOp. As we are in the internet marketing space, we're not really in the BizOp space, but they're similar enough for this actual example. And the minute we choose BizOp, you can see that it just gave us a list of all of the various offers in the actual business opportunity space. So as you can see, partner with Anthony, website ATM, cash point ATM, website profit pro, et cetera. Now, when it comes to choosing the best offer, firstly, I'll tell you this, with CPA marketing, it all comes down to one number, and that number is EPC earnings per click. So what's gonna happen when you send you know, traffic to all these various offers is you're gonna get an earnings per click for each of these various offers. And all that means is that let's say you send 100 clicks to one actual you know, offer and it ends up making you a certain amount per click because you send 100 clicks and you get X, Y, Z in commissions and let's say you earn you know, a 40 cent EPC, you know, 40 cents per click when you go ahead and send that offer. You need to know if you're sending to one offer and making 40 cents and you're sending to another offer and making 80 cents to stop sending to the one and start sending to the other, right? So very simply put, it all comes down to testing. It all comes down to finding the offers that have the highest EPC. But with that said, I want to go ahead and share with you a few criteria that I kind of look for. So if I were to come into this offer, usually what I look for is firstly, the price that the thing's being sold at, and then secondly, the payout that I'm going to get. So as an example, this is 47 bucks and this is 68. Now that's a little bit lower than I would like. I usually look for if it's you know being sold at 47, I want to earn at least something around 80 or above. But again, it all comes down to EPC. So we might go ahead and test it just for the sake of testing, but at the end of the day, when I'm kind of looking for the initial offers to go ahead and choose, that's kind of more of what I'm looking for. If we go ahead and come in here, it looks like a lot of their offers are set to $68 with a $47 price point. Lots of times networks will do that. They'll kind of find a range that works for them because they need to make a profit as well, and then they'll go ahead and just stick to that range but with that said, this is what I would do. So I'd literally just come in here and I'd go through all of the various offers and I just look at all the various price points and the various payouts for those actual price points. All right. So let's look at this offer. And here we have an $88 payout for a $47 offer, all right? So I would definitely wanna go ahead and test this offer because every single time I send a $47 sale, I'm gonna earn an $88 payout, all right? Now, again, I would go through all the various offers. I would try to find the offers with the highest payout here. And then very simply, you would just go ahead and click tracking links they're gonna give you this link to send to, and every single time you send traffic to this actual offer and someone goes ahead and buys someone, something in this case, you're gonna go ahead and make $88, all right? So that's kind of how you select offers with CPA marketing. And then from there, you can also test different types of offers. If we come into our primary offers dashboard and we actually just search by types of, offers when it comes to leads versus regular offers. Let me go ahead and come down here, lead summit, and we'll go from here. You can see that all of these various offers are CPLs, meaning that every single time someone submits their lead, cost per lead, you're going to get paid. So this is a website where every single time someone goes ahead and submits their email address on this website, they don't even need to buy anything they go ahead and pay you a $1 payout. Now, with this setup, once again, that might sound really cool because it's, oh my God, I can make a sale without even you know going ahead or I can make a commission without even generating a sale so I really don't need to sell anything and that's really attractive to a lot of people. Remember, it all comes down to EPC. So if you're promoting this offer and you're earning a 50 cent EPC, 
even though people don't have to go ahead and buy something, but you're promoting you know, this offer or the offer that I just showed you a moment ago with the $88 payout and people do need to buy stuff, but you're still earning, let's say an 80 cent EPC every single click that you send to the one offer with the 50 cent EPC versus the other offer with the 80 cent EPC, you're gonna essentially be losing out on 30 cents per click every single time you send a click to that wrong offer. And if you take this seriously, and let's say over the course of a month, you send 100,000 clicks to all the various offers, well that 30 cents per click adds up really, really, really quickly, and you end up losing a lot of money if you're going ahead and sending to the wrong offers. So that's my message for the day. Once again, CPA marketing, use it to add more cash flow, use it to you know add additional streams of income. I wouldn't rely solely on it, but it can be really good to increase your cash flow with your business. Head over to Google, find a really good network. Don't just choose the top networks, go through all the various networks and find the networks that actually work best for you in your business. Get signed up with about 10 to 15 of them. Then after you do that, go through all the various network offers, look for offers that ideally pay you really high payouts on a price point somewhere kind of in the two to one range. So again, with that one specific offer, we sell it for 47 and we make almost $90, which would be just about two to one. Look for offers in that range, but test a multitude of different offers, find the offers with the best highest converting EPCs, and then promote only the offers with the best highest converting EPCs. And it's really simple when you go ahead and send traffic, they show you exactly what your EPCs are in the back office and uh, you'll earn maximum commissions promoting just those products. So with that said, hope you got a ton of value out of today's video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon notification button so you get notified every single time I create a new video just like this one. And of course, let me know what your biggest takeaway was in the comment section below this video. I read every single comment. I try to reply to every single comment as well. And uh, with that said, for your free gift that I promised you at the very beginning of this video, there'll be a video that pops up in the last 20 seconds of this video that says how to claim your free gifts. Go ahead, check that video out in order to claim your free gifts. And also check this additional video out that I created on a related topic to help you with CPA marketing and to help you specifically with affiliate marketing so that you can grow your business, make more sales, increase your profit, and at the end of the day, make more money. Once again, hit that subscribe button, bell icon notification button. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams.